Sometimes, when you try to add a bevel effect in Blender, using the modifiers, or this bevel tool, you may face difficulties. Things may look completely messed up for your object, and the bevel may not be visible at all, or it may not be correct. This can happen for several reasons, and it can be frustrating, but it can be fixed very easily. In this tutorial, we will look at some possible reasons that can stop bevel to work correctly, and we'll also discuss about the solutions for them, so please stay tuned. For our first case, let us take this object. We can add bevel to this in two different ways. We can either add a bevel modifier from here, or we can add a bevel using the bevel tool in the edit mode. The difference between them is, in the edit mode, we can choose exactly which edges or which corners to be beveled, so it is much more powerful than the bevel modifier. Let us first select everything. Now, if we try to add bevel to it, by moving this handle, we can see that it is not really working. Some bevel is added at some of these places, but there is no bevel for these corners. Even if we increase the bevel amount, it only gets distorted. This way, we are unable to get a simple bevel effect which we wanted. This is happening because the geometry of this object is not correct. We'll investigate what is not correct here, but let us first undo the changes that we have made to this object. Now, we will select some edge around this section. For example, let us select this edge, and we'll simply delete this from here. So hit X to bring the delete menu and select this edge option. You can see that Blender has removed this face, but the edge that we actually wanted to delete is not deleted, it is very much intact. This is because we have several duplicate vertices somehow created for this object. If we now delete it once more, it will be permanently gone. Let us check this with another edge. If we delete this edge, a copy of it still remains there, although the face is removed. So we have a duplicate edge, we need to delete it twice to remove it completely. Likewise, we may have many such duplicate vertices, which is why the bevel tool may not work, so remember to verify this always. Let us undo whatever we have deleted just now, we'll then remove these duplicates. The process to remove duplicate vertices is simple. We have to first select all the vertices. Then, go to the mesh menu. Under merge, we have to select the option merge by distance. As a result, you can see that Blender has removed 64 vertices without any change of our model. And you can also customize this by changing this distance. If two vertices are present within this distance from each other, Blender will consider them as duplicate and merge them into one vertex. Try to use a lower value if it impacts the design of your model. So, we can now pick up the bevel tool and add the bevel effect with whatever amount we want. You can see the bevel is working just fine, as we rectified its geometry. From here, let us also increase the number of segments to say 10. So, the bevel will now work correctly for this object. To improve it even further, we can also add more subdivisions and make these bevels smoother. You should check for any such geometrical errors in your object, which can stop bevel from working. But it is not the only case that can happen in bevel, we'll check few other cases as well. Let us now take this staircase. We'll add some bevel to these stairs. So let us first go to the edit mode. The face selection mode is turned on. We'll select all the faces and then pick up the bevel tool. If we now try to add some bevel to its edges, we discover that the bevel is not working correctly. Although we can see perfect bevel at some places, there are serious problems at some other areas, so it is working somewhere perfectly and failing at some other places. We have to now find out what the issue is for this staircase model. We have already removed all duplicate vertices from here. And the number of segments is also not an issue. We can change it to say 10. The bevel is still not working for all areas. To investigate it further, you can select these specific edges and apply the bevel and find out which particular section is creating a problem. Then a fix can be applied for that. Let us first undo the changes. Now, in order to see the root cause of this issue, we have to click on this small arrow button. Then scroll down below and enable this option to display the face normals. We can also change the size of the normals to say 0.5. Now, you can see that the normals are visible for each of the faces. We have to inspect if there is any abnormality. 
We need to find out whether any face normal is missing or not. Very soon you will figure out that for this face and also for this one, there is no face normal visible. That is because the normals got flipped for these faces. The normals are pointing toward the inside direction for them, which is causing the entire issue with bevel. So we have to rectify the normals for these two faces. Let us select these two faces together by pressing the shift key on our keyboard. Now go to the mesh menu. And under normals, we have to select this flip option. We'll see that a blue line is now visible for each of these faces, which is their face normal. So the error is rectified. There is another way to rectify it for the entire object. First select all the faces. Then go to the mesh menu. And under normals, you can select recalculate outside. This will rectify the normals for all the faces, unless you have an object with some special shape, like some inside edges or a complex topology. Since the face normals are now corrected, we can try to add the bevel. But instead of that, let us do it this time through the modifiers. So go back to the object mode. Then go to the modifiers tab. And add one bevel modifier. You can see that the bevel is added correctly on all the edges. You can also increase the number of segments, maybe to 10, for a smooth look of the beveled edges. Everything is now cool, there is no distortion in our model. So please verify the face normals if your bevel is breaking and not working correctly. We'll now take an example of this rectangular cuboid. Even such a simple object can also cause issues when you try to add bevels. Let us go to the edit mode. Now select everything. We have to pick up the bevel tool. If we then try to add a bevel effect, you'll notice that the bevel is added correctly, there is no distortion, but the bevel is not proportionate. While the length of bevel is quite longer on this side, it is too short on the other side. You may face this issue quite often, and you may wonder why it is like this. But the reason is actually very simple, this object has got its scale properties changed here. You can see that the scale factor is 5 in the y dimension, which is this dimension. But the x and the z scale factors are only 1. For this reason, the bevel is also effective on this object in the same proportion, which is 1 is to 5. And to resolve this issue, we have to convert these scale factors to 1. So let us undo whatever we have done. And then go back to the object mode. While the object is selected, go to the object menu, and under apply, apply the scale factors from this option. You'll see that all scale factors now got applied, and they're changed back to 1. So, back to our edit mode. If we now try to add the same bevel, we'll see that the bevel is added in equal proportions in all the dimensions. And we can also increase the number of segments, like before. So, the issue is resolved, and the bevel looks just perfect. You should check for the scale factors in case you face similar difficulties. So we discussed about few reasons why a bevel effect may not work correctly and how to remove those factors. Most importantly, we need to ensure that the object geometry is correct and free from any abnormalities. You can then easily get an error-free bevel effect as we have discussed. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.